Scratch is a visual programming language and online community targeted, mainly at children, by coding with blocks in the editor. Users of Scratch can create online projects using a block-like interface. It is the first on our list because it is easy to understand for kids and for beginners. Developed by the MIT Media Lab, Scratch is thus an event-driven, block-based programming language and thus has been translated into 70 plus languages. And it is used in most parts of the world. It is used in an introductory language because creating interesting programs using Scratch is fairly easy and skills learned in Scratch can be applied to other basic programming languages such as Python and Java. Learning Scratch allows kids to think like programmers and get a better understanding of key coding concepts which in turn makes learning other coding languages a lot easier. This is probably why it is popular in most after-school centers, schools and colleges. Moreover, it has a very interactive online community where people share their artwork, games and a lot of other stuff with each other. Based on community statistics, Scratch's official website states that more than 35 million projects have been shared as of October 2018. It's an ideal choice given that kids can create animation, interactive stories, art, or music using Scratch. Python is a programming language that is very similar to normal speech. One does not have to add any comments to the code because Python code, if well written, can just do the job without any extra comments. It is the closest to English and therefore not at all intimidating. In fact, with Python, one can build projects just by doing functional programming. This means there is no need to use objects and classes at the beginning, which makes it nowhere as overwhelming as any other programming languages. So if you want your kids to learn coding, Python is a great starting point as it will offer your kid a basic understanding of how programming generally works. With Python, students can develop programming ideas and then convert these ideas into instructions that the machine can interpret. It's an easy coding language to learn mainly because several common functionalities that programmers need are already built into this programming language. In fact, Python provides constructs that enable clear programming on both small and large scales. Also, it features a dynamic type system and automatic memory management. It supports multiple programming paradigms, including object-oriented, imperative, functional, procedural, and has a comprehensive standard library. Plus, Python interpreters are available for many operating systems. CPython, the reference implementation of Python, is an open source software and has a community-based development model, just as most of Python's other implementations. Using Python, a lot can be achieved by simply researching and using the core Python libraries. Learning HTML, CSS is certainly a good way to get introduced to programming, as it lends students a sense of accomplishment on having learned languages that form an important part of most programming concepts along with JavaScripts. Both are easy to learn and use and also very useful for kids who wish to pursue web designing. Bear in mind that almost every browser supports HTML language and it is by default in every computer with Windows operating system. So you don't need to purchase or buy any extra software to work with this programming language. HTML elements are denoted by tags written using with angle brackets. At the same time, it must be pointed out that HTML, CSS do not really teach the student concepts such as looping or branching and then are thus not ideal for making dynamic pages. With HTML or CSS, it's more about learning to make tags for different things on a web page and learning how to perform tasks such as making a Word document colorful. Indeed, 
HTML can use a wide range of colors, objects and layouts. One of the biggest advantages of learning HTML is that it can be embedded with programs written in JavaScript, which affects the behavior and content of these web pages. Knowing CSS is helpful as it helps define the look and layout of content on these pages. JavaScript is just the programming language for kids who are interested in web development and design and wish to learn the basics of programming. An object-oriented and procedural programming language that is used for front-end or client-facing applications. JavaScript is indeed a popular programming language. It is native on all web browsers and commonly used to create complex interactive web applications. Along with HTML, CSS, JavaScript is one of the three core technologies of the World Wide Web. What's more, these days JavaScript engines are also being used to run softwares such as web servers, databases, desktop widgets and non-web programs such as word processors and PDF softwares. Learning this language typically gives quick, tangible results. In other words, the student actually sees something on the web page and how it is all being put together. Dart is developed by Google and is an object-oriented, class-defined programming language like Go. It is a garbage-collected language using a C-style syntax, supporting interfaces, mixing, abstract classes, and a sound type system. Dart is used to build web servers, desktop and mobile applications. In fact, Flutter, the open source mobile application development framework created by Google to develop Android and iOS apps is written in Dart. This language is ahead of time, compiled to fast, predictable native code and familiar to users of both static and dynamic languages. It is quite easy to learn. Also with Dart, it makes it easier to make smooth animations and transitions that run at 60 frames per second. C Sharp is your best bet if your kid wants to learn how to make 3D games. C Sharp was developed around the year 2000 by Microsoft. It is a hugely popular programming language that's used to develop most third-party applications for Windows. It's certainly an in-demand programming language when it comes to software programming jobs and is a great starting point for people who have never learned coding before. With a syntax similar to that of Java, c -sharp is easier to learn if you have worked with the formal language. c -sharp can be used to make web applications, video games and other programs as well. It's ideal for students who are interested in making applications for Windows. Some of its advantages include a strong memory backup, automatic garbage collection, and rich class libraries. C++ is used to create applications that run locally on machines such as your computer. Despite the time and complexity required to learn C++, this language gives teens a very deep understanding of programming. It is referred to as the foundation which several other programming languages have been built on. C++ can be used to create system software, games, and a variety of other programs. This is why C++ is great for teenagers who are seeking a complex understanding of programming principles and for students wanting to program in the gaming industry. Knowledge of C++ will surely strengthen the student's resume. Programmers who know C++ are always in great demand. With around 90% of Fortune 500 companies being set to use Java, it is a widely used programming language in the world. Be it SAP, traffic management, or even a day-to-day -day appliance such as refrigerator. It is clearly popular among systems that have been developed over a long period of time and will thus continue to stay relevant for quite some time. That said, a new tech product are less likely to use Java, which is why a lot of new programming languages are in greater demand today. For instance, Java is used to make 
Android mobile apps, large backend environments, and game engines. But many Android apps today are being made using Kotlin programming language and not just using Java. This is because Kotlin has been designed to interoperate fully with Java. Also, for those who have never learned or worked with an object-oriented programming language before, Java can be rather tricky. This is because unlike many programming languages, learning to code in Java needs one to have a prior understanding of concepts such as objects, classes, inheritance, interfaces and packages. So why progressing is much simpler in Python and doesn't need an understanding of the above mentioned concepts, working on projects using Java needs one to have a good command over them. This means it can take longer to study and work with Java than with other languages. Swift is a general purpose, multi-paradigm compiled programming language. Developed by Apple for iOS, iPadOS, macOS, watchOS, tvOS and Linux. It has been designed to work with Apple's Coca and Coca Touch framework and the existing Objective-C code written for Apple products. Built with an open source LLVM compiler framework, Swift uses the Objective-C runtime library which allows C, Objective-C, C++ and Swift code to run within one program. Apple's Swift Playgrounds was launched in 2016 as a tool to teach kids to code. Basically, an iPad app. It has several basic coding lessons and gamified challenges and boasts a tight interface with graphically pleasing backgrounds. This app is presented in a 3D video game-like interface which shares feedback when lines of code are placed in a certain order and executed. Swift Playground is thus a good choice for schools where iPads are used by the students. However, it must be pointed out that Swift Playgrounds has lessons with a rather limited scope and they in turn do not provide kids the freedom of expression that Scratch can offer. But with Apple planning to teach iOS developers how to build augmented reality, enabled apps with Swift Playgrounds, this is subject to change. Go, also known as Golang, is a programming language designed by Google engineers Robert Griezmann, Robert Pike and Ken Thompson. It has been used by leading companies such as Google, YouTube, Apple Dropbox, BBC, IBM and Twitter, among many others. Syntax is similar to the programming language C. Go has a simple structure and syntax and is devoid of classes and type inheritance. Since it is based on functions, it is simple and easy to learn. It's a compiled language, so developers need to be more accurate and attentive. And the resulting code is usually neater and safer. Being simple, it is easily maintainable and its development is faster and cheaper and allows it to perform better. Go additionally offers memory, memory safety, garbage collection, structural typing, and CSP style concurrency. It allows multiple processes to run effectively at the same time. The compiler, tools, and source code are all free and open source. Moreover, it has been designed for concurrency and hence can be used for different platforms, be it Windows, Linux or Unix devices. All of these are reasons why Learning Go is an exciting idea.